Welcome, welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. It is now time to talk about Liverpool's match against Stoke City Tuesday night at Anfield. The Reds are buzzing, looking to build off the momentum of that thrilling 1-0 win over Everton in the Merseyside Derby after Daniel Sturridge had a brilliant shot bounce off the post. Sadio Mane was there, ready to pounce, scoring the crucial winner for the Reds. And as the Liverpool plays its post-Christmas uh, fixtures, it'll be very important to keep squad rotation in mind because after this game on the 27th, the Reds will take on Manchester City on New Year's Eve. So very quick turnaround. Some key players need to be rested in this match. And the first two that come to mind for me are Jordan Henderson and Roberto Firmino. Henderson has been playing absolutely terrific thus far. He's completed so many passes, covered massive amount of distance. But, you know, with that in mind, it's important to keep him fresh for such a massive game like Manchester City. Emre Chan should be more than capable of filling in Henderson's shoes and stomping out the attacks when they come. He's also been in form when it comes to scoring goals. So I would really like to see Emre Chan uh, start as the holding midfielder in this match. Firmino has gotten so much game time as well. It's very important to keep him fresh. And I would love to see Daniel Sturridge, who has been in very high spirits uh, following the Everton game, to start. I think he's going to be coming in with a lot of confidence. He has that proven track record of scoring goals. And I think potentially both Sturridge and Origi could start in this match, which is a combination we have not seen very often, particularly with the two starting together. Now, uh, the Reds are likely going to also have Ragnar Plavin start for a third straight match. Joel Matip's ankle is slowing or is healing slower than expected, but Clavin has performed more than admirably uh, in Matip's absence. So look to see hopefully more of the same against a Stoke attack that has true quality. Of course, Boyan Kirkic, the former Barcelona man, uh, Ibrahim Afalai, you know, attacking midfielder who is back and fit, uh, hence the nickname Stoke has received of Stoke Alona. Uh, but you know, they boast a lot of attacking options, even without Marko Arnautovic, who is a very talented player who's out after getting suspended with a red card against Southampton. They still have Peter Crouch, who can come off the bench and nick a goal, former red, and Wilfried Bonny, who, you know, in his heyday at Swansea, was one of the most lethal strikers in the Premier League, although it hasn't quite gone according to plan for him uh, thus far at the Britannia Stadium. So, you know, Stoke has more options than people would believe for an 11th place side. That's the bottom line. I haven't even mentioned their best player, Sherdan Shakiri, who came uh, very close to joining Liverpool a few years ago. Of course, Bayern Munich blocked that move, his parent club uh, at the time. But he has potential to give the Reds serious problems. You know, this is a fixture that is not a guaranteed three points for the Reds. Uh, I think Jurgen Klopp understands that. He knows that Stoke has uh, serious talent. And with that in mind, he is going to pick a very, very strong squad. Uh, you know, with Mane uh, in form, I think he will uh, probably start this one. Of course, Coutinho still needs to get healthy. Gini Wijnaldum has been kind of an unsung hero uh, thus far. Origi had scored five goals in five straight games, but did not score and did not impress against Everton. So, you know, Klopp might be thinking, do I go with Sturridge or Origi? I would love to see him go with both, as I mentioned earlier. And, you know, I think uh, Lalana too, uh, as he continues to work up to full 100% fitness, I think he's very close to that, uh, would love to see him uh, nick a goal if possible as well. He's surely going to play a major role in pressing here. So my prediction in this match, I'm going to take Liverpool to win by a score of 3-1. to one. Thank you so much for tuning in, Reds fans. As always, you will never walk alone, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.